What up, though? There's so much to talk about with the CPNs. It's been going on the last couple of weeks. I had to um, restructure the site, so I know it's down because I've been trying to uh, make it right to where I'm not held liable as nothing, and the feds don't come looking for me. I'm not saying they're looking for nobody, but stuff just seeming weird. And the first video I'm going to show you all is from Legal CPN. They got this video called The Truth About CPNs. I'm going to um, go through a couple snips of that with y'all. I'm going to go through a couple clips of that with y'all. But y'all check it out. And um, the description box below, I'm going to put a link to there. And they basically just trying to debunk that CPNs are illegal. Um, but with the way stuff's going and the way uh, everybody's been acting, you just don't know anymore. If you've been subscribed to them, you notice that their uh, emails have stopped coming to you. Um, they don't respond to any emails you send to them, so I don't know what to say anymore. Um, well, if y'all been watching them and you subscribe to them, you know the emails have stopped and the emails to them have stopped. They still ain't paying me my little coins for referring everybody, but uh, it's cool. But uh, yeah, check out the video and just go through it for yourself. Decipher it for yourself. I'm not going to sit back and say that they're illegal, they're, they're um, non-illegal. It's still a great area when it comes to these CPNs, so. CPN, I'm going to try to make this real fast and real easy to understand to kind of like video some snippets to exactly why it's the truth that CPNs are in fact legal. And somebody who says they're illegal Tell them to debunk the information I'm about to show you. So he got this information straight from the um, FBI's website, and I'm going to let him talk. One of the ways that you can find the FBI's, uh, what the FBI is saying is just simply by going to uh, fbi.creditprofilenumbers.com. I already have that particular site open, so I'm just going to So if you see, if you notice, uh, this is the FBI's website. You can look at the uh, URL here at the top, and uh, it takes you to the FBI's website. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to notice that this is talking about uh, mortgage fraud, so on and so forth, about people utilizing uh, their new credit profile for CPNs or SCNs uh, to do commit uh, mortgage fraud. Bad idea. Uh, completely uh, illegal. So, but if you drop all the way down here to number 35 of what they're talking about on the FBI's website, let's see here. Uh, it will still tell you um, out now that uh, uh, right here, uh, 35 says credit profile number CPS are nine digit file numbers that are uh, that follow the same algorithm as social security account numbers S S A N S. Okay, so currently federal law allows individuals to legally use uh, CPS for financial reporting um, and protects those individuals do not wish uh, to disclose their SSA which is uh, Social Security Administration number. Uh, individuals who, uh, who acquire uh, CPS are completely responsible for any debt they incur. Okay, now there you have it. Right there on that video, he pretty much nailed it. That is the 100% truth. That is 195% truth because he quoted and he clearly signed it directly from the FBI website. The FBI and those people, quote unquote, those people, what they are interested in, they are interested in defaulters. The people that use CPNs, EINs, ITINs, any sort of number, they made up and they built up to have a magic credit score that's enabling them to get credit approvals and they're going out and they're literally robbing, stealing, and pillaging. Those are people that they are in fact interested in, and that is the person that you, in fact, do not want to be. If your intention is not 
to, to defraud and your intentions is to be responsible for all debts you incur, quote unquote, right on their websites. The page is still there. CPN. If you use it as CPN, you are responsible for all debts you incur. I will say it in simple people words. You are responsible for any debt you get into. You put your name on a piece of paper. You get approved for it. They send you the money. They give you access to cash, capital, or credit. You are responsible. At the point where you default, a lot of people say, Ah, oh, it's not in my name. It's somewhere else. They can't come back and attach to me. You're causing an injury to somebody else in that creditor has the right to collect. And just because you put it in another profile, that's why they want to put you in court. Because they want to move that transaction from a profile that you thought you were taking away from yourself. And they want to attach it to yourself. Listen. Listen. That's me pushing my hands together. They want to attach your CPN to something that they can collect. That's their right. That is their right. You are to be responsible for all debts you incur. And the magic key word is, when you are looking at the statute of identity theft, identity fraud, things that sort, the key component to the statute is the word intent. You had an intent to defraud, meaning you got the CPN, you built it up, you got an 800 credit score, and you got a merch machine, and you're sticking the card in your merch machine, and you're burning all the cash off, and you're doing this with everything you're getting, or you're getting TVs out of Best Buy, and you're selling up out your trunk for half the money, and you know you're not trying to pay those back. It's clear what your intent is. Your intent is to be a thief, and therefore, they're going to try to come and get you. That's their job, because they have to stop you. If your intent is to, hey, I need a car to go back up for work, I gotta feed my kids, and if I can't go to work, I can't I can't make any money, I can't support my family, and I really need I really need a car, and this is a good way for me to get a car. Okay, your intent is to work and to pay back that law. Okay, and if you purchase your CPN from legal CPN, we're gonna provide the documents and the paperwork that you need to file so you can make sure that your CPN is law. Okay, so basically what he's saying is CPNs it's 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 just a gray area. Um if you're knowingly giving out somebody's who is deceased social security number or a child social security number, you are you are uh constituting fraud, abiding in fraud, um you just man, you just you messing up. So but I see so many uh YouTube channels and even um, my more Instagram channels where they keep shutting my Instagram down because I talk about CPNs, but I see so many CPN channels that are still going on. And I went to Craigslist today to make a post in it, and I put the word CPN in my post, and then it said you can't use this word. But if you go to Craigslist, type in CPN, there are different postings about CPNs. So uh, it's just it's just it's just um hard to get around, and uh. I, I just can't public, publicly promote it anymore. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm just done with them because, like he say, uh, it's your intent. Your intent is everything, and uh, I have to make sure I can make myself non-liable to where I want to still issue these things out because uh, there is – you can do benefit with them. So uh, the Social Security Administration and the um, Bureau said so they want to implement something within – June of this year, so we still got time to get. We gotta get and get out, you know what I'm saying? Or just rock it slowly. I'm not gonna stop using my numbers. I'll still use them, so you know what I'm saying. Um, when they come knocking at the door, then y'all know. But I ain't finna worry about it. And um, you can still get the numbers. Freshcreditlife.com. I know the site is down, but right now, if you go, it's like application. You put your information in. It comes to me, and I'll uh, try to contact you and see if you want how you want to do business. And whatnot, but this is the guy. Um, I I got the original article. I will find it. This is the guy they um kind of put that pressure on, and now he got six videos. You can see right here, and he had so many, and it was just two the other day. So I'm guessing he got back on and got to talking again. But at one point in time, he had uh, two video. He had a lot of videos. He went down to two. 
See, uh, now it says the channel doesn't have any content. You got the, just these there. Two videos, like I say. Um, so I don't know what they told him, how they put pressure on him, but um, he basically was doing seminars down in Houston. And some undercover news reporter came and recorded the whole thing, kind of. They gave his whole government name out on the um, news and everything. Because he was talking about on one of his videos, he was saying how he did like, I think in one year he did like 500 CPNs. I don't know if it was but the year or the month or whatever. He did like 500 CPNs. So when they came to talk to him and see how many CPNs he had done, he said he did about 10 of them or whatever. But, you know, they was like, well, you said in the video you did about 500. So um, they can't put that pressure on. But I ain't trying to make it about him because I learned a lot from him. And um, I watched his videos, too. And I got a CPN from him, actually. And that's a good CPN. And um, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, just move smoothly with it. Don't be trying to defraud the system or whatever. And use it responsibly. You are, you're using this to get out of your situation. I'm not going to sit back and act like we don't need this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got these white-collar crimes. Most people are doing people of higher socioeconomic statuses that can get away with these crimes. So when we get on the some of the masses and we're of a lower, lower socioeconomic status... That's when they want to put the pressure on it and say it's wrong and stop it. Like, I don't feel that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going uh, to keep rocking like we rock. I thought about I thought about taking some videos down. I ain't going to lie. Um, but I took like one down just because it was promoting legal CPN, which they kind of towards the end, they got kind of janky because they wasn't really giving people good, people good numbers and they weren't responding to nobody. Customer service was lacking. I'm like, I'm just not a stuff. I'm going to not promote them. But, um, I still got the number, so hit me up. Um, and then you got to be careful, too. Like, I say hit me up, then somebody hit me up talking about CPNs, and I don't know who it is, and I just jump into, uh, fall into entrapment. So, like, I don't know how serious it is, but until that pressure hit, we ain't never know. Um, I'm going to leave a description, and um, it's two videos. It's one mainly about him right here that the news put out, and that first one through legal CPN. You can watch both of those videos. But uh, I ain't gonna really run right now because ain't no reason to. But the site is down. I'm gonna try to set it set it up today. Keep it um. But I'm gonna have to transition at some point. Like I got into this as a hobby, and I wasn't expecting to really take it like I took it. People just been jumping onto it and telling me how much they appreciate my information, and which I'm just learning myself. I was just getting into it, trying to figure out how I can get some get a come up. You know what I'm saying? So it, it worked out for me. But uh. I thank for the support. Subscribe, because I need my subscribers to keep coming, because I'm going to transition at some point to a credit sweeps and credit repair, and we still going to have the trade lines coming, and I do have a trade line supplier, so hit me up on that, because I know a lot of y'all got CPNs, and y'all need the trade lines to them, so hit me up on that tip. Um, can't be silenced by the system, and let them tell us it's illegal, because if it was so illegal... Um, certain sites like the legal CPN been around, what do you say, 10 years they've been rocking? They wouldn't even be up. You know what I'm saying? They would have been down. So, I mean, it depends on how you're doing it. But they do have a lot of backing behind them, like disclaimers and contracts you have to sign. So, um, I'm implementing that. That's why the site is down right now, because I have to figure out, um, how I can keep rocking without being, um, on the side of crime, I guess, you know? But, um, like I said, there's many, many Instagram pages that promote CPNs, and them are still running, them are still rocking, so I just want to post on my Instagram about CPNs, but we can, you can DM me all day, and I'm going to uh, put the new Instagram in there, because I have a new one, and it's not really popping like that last one was, because y'all have me, y'all show me some love, but come out with the new Instagram, and like that, and talk to me on there, or you can text me, and call me, DM me on there to get the number, whatever, but, uh, it's a couple of my videos, the numbers on there. I ain't going to keep putting it out because, uh, like I say, I ain't trying to get, look for, they got to find me. Um, but somebody hit me up on this because my face is out there. And um, most people that promote this, they kind of un undercover with it. But uh, I ain't going to take down a video, so if my face out there is out there. But you don't know till you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know I was doing nothing uh, too wrong, and I still don't feel like it's too wrong. I know this video is going to be long, so I'm going to end it right there. But FreshCreditLife.com, check me out. Still throwing them deals. 
and um we we keep moving